This used to be the worst highway in America. It was all hills right here. It was this big valley and this head-on collision happened and like 12 people died and there was just deaths up and down it. So they leveled it out, raised it up, widened it, put lights on it. But it was bad for a while there. Yeah. Wow. When was that? That was back in the 80s is when they finally did this. Mid to late 80s. Finally fixed it. Is that the dump? Yeah. Well, that's the process. And so they bail it up in that building there, and then they truck it to a landfill out in the Badlands. Where do you take the? You just pull up right there and throw. Oh, it. See, no. someone should be on it, but it's Mother's Day, so there's no one out there. Picking. Yeah, and this is where they found the bodies of the two guys I was telling you about that were mutilated. Right down there, that little memorial. That's what had caused the big riot up here because the police didn't, wouldn't investigate it. As they said that they were on the South Dakota side. But yeah, this place was second to beer sales, or second only to Omaha in beer sales one year. A town of about 30. <laughs> wow. Millionaires owners what would happen if, if I took my tripod out and started shooting they would gather around and want money yeah. and beer and then they would do whatever you wanted them to do you know there's people do it up here all the time they'll buy them beer and line them up oh, take man. their pictures really yeah and they'll do it, you know, because they're hurting right now, and they want to drink. Yeah. Uh, I think they're just kind of lacking volunteers. I don't think they have a problem getting the plants and seeds and all of that. I think it's the hands that they don't have. And they, they say, you know, if you come and help them, you can harvest yourself. People lined up in the winter too. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the like news gold? did a story one time. I had just come back from California one time and I'm like 24 years old. And it, there's a story on the news and it's like January and it's five above. And they're talking to one of my friends. And he's standing there with a big can of malt liquor in his hand, you know? And that freaked me out. And that was what they were talking about was the cold, the weather, and he was like, as long as you got a beer. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of, I never did stand around up here. I have a lot of close friends that I grew up with that occasionally I'll see. But yeah, this is Nebraska. One of the richest communities. <laughs> Our highest revenue. See, I grew up with this guy with the cowboy hat, Bruce. Five Loaves Mission, what is that? They provide meals. They're, they're kind of in cahoots with the guy who does the garden. And they provide meals. Is it a good place? Well, they got good intentions, I guess. They're, there's the 555, and then there's the... Hands of Faith ministry, and they're two separate ministries. One is from Texas, and I don't know where the other one is from. I'm not sure, but they, um, they're separate. And one of them solicits a lot of money with pictures, you know. And the other one doesn't. It comes from the church with money already. And he's the one who will feed, but he'll go to, that's the dump, yeah, see there's usually somebody out there. Somebody's oh yeah, well you've seen the, the beer capital there, so this road is full of people. Ah. You know, any little infraction they're going to pull you over, and transporting is a non-bondable charge. 
so you'll stay in town. It's coming a few feet. Everybody's weird. Lots of dust out here, huh? Yeah. I know we dusted him out yesterday, or this morning. And then I dusted them out. Coming up the hill. Oh, and you met them at the fire station? No, down to the shell station, but we were flying up the back. building is the supply warehouse for the housing. That's the Taro office, Tribal Employment Rights office. You gotta go through them if you wanna work here. I went and got a Taro card and they told me that there were 70 summer jobs open and like 800 people in line. So, what? That's 70 jobs coming that's up. That's crazy. And if you, that's, that's where you go pick up your Hugo Chavez voucher. This is the Kamad warehouse where they get your government cheese. Robin was taking pictures of the plant saying that's something to talk about. <laughs> the government put up up there by the trailer. The big chain link fence that fences off their house. A lot of people ask why did they do that? That are spray painting and stuff, you know. Yeah. And then they're mostly adults in the trailer park. So this is the other half to the housing you saw. Is this still reservation? Yeah. Though. Yeah, we're still. This is a here. big reservation. Oh yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's the size of Massachusetts. Wow. Without without the without Cape Cod. This is where the doctors and pharmacists and the health providers live. Yeah. So a lot of them actually don't stay here long. So some of these are fake. Oh really? Yeah, yeah IHS is always having cutbacks. So it's not like job security working for this yeah. new hospital where replace the old one up on the hill. Mm -hmm. My buddy used to rent that shop there. The one that's burned? Uh, yeah, a long time ago when we had a contract with the tribe to cut firewood. Oh, yeah. And that's where we parked our trucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this neighborhood here is kind of rough. This is probably the worst one. The equivalent to crack houses. My buddy's sister owns this one and she's in prison. This one on the corner? Yeah, I have said that. And he's keeping her daughter. But she don't want him in her house. So that's what it came to. Man, this is crazy worse now. See all the gang signs and tags and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen more here than I have on her entire trip. SS? I don't know, they're the drinkers though. Sunday afternoon is probably not a good time. <laughs> Speed dip. cemetery that would go back to the cavalry in wow. 1890s. See that trailer house on the corner there with the high fence around it? Yeah. That guy brought in like 2.8 million dollars in cocaine in like a 13 year period. 
And that's just one of the houses he had, and that's the one they sold wow. off. They said cars would be lined up. I, I was gone. I was in Vegas when that was going on, but they said cars would just be lined up down the road, and you would have guys out there selling it, just making thousands of dollars a night. Jail, though. Okay. <laughs> go up to White Clay and let Robin get out. Or <laughs> <laughs> Brown. They came through here. They came through there, but they just kind of freaked out. So. Yeah.